Sky is ready. Ilm and our rude boys, I has got enough heavy TV ideas, which is why I has come here to Los Angeles to see if I can make it in the world of telly. Bo! What is this project about? It's loosely based on like James Bond, but it's for like TV. Well, I've seen that over and over and over and over again, TV. There's nothing new there. Well, I've done like an eight minutes thing. Let me, let me see this, let me see this here. I'll watch a little bit of it. Okay, I got, I got the idea. All right, um, this is not in a genre that I'm interested in. But you ain't even giving it a chance. I gave it a chance. I'm not interested in it. But people will switch on I, even when they see the I'm title not, James Bond. I'm not interested in it. Thank you very much. I'm not interested in it. I can make it any more what, clear. I'm not if, interested. In, I'm not interested in it. I'm as clear as I could possibly be. I am not interested in it. I want you to just level with me and don't, you know, if you like it, say you like it. If you don't, say it. I try to say it to you. There's uh, another idea no, that I've got. I, I have time for one it's pitch. It's like a version of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, but with uh, more cash. I, I really have to, I have to have, I have another appointment coming. Thank you for your time. It's and Who I've Wants to Be a Billionaire. What is the main thing you ain't seen before on network prime TV? I ain't seen dongs actually going in. It's better left to the imagination. That doesn't no, mean... It, no, it ain't not with some of the girls that I can get my hands on. Imagine, and it ain't a definite yet, if J-Lo signs up to our TV show and one scene, it's done artistically, whatever, you get to see her on all fours getting it from behind. Imagine the, imagine the commotion. What makes you think that this is going to appeal to her or any other star? Me would raise like loads of cash by threatening to cuss companies if they didn't hand over cash. So let's say we ask McDonald's, you know, do you want to help fund the program? If them say no, then we say, all right, we're going to have someone eating a Big Mac and then dying of cancer. Well, that's almost tantamount to blackmail. But let's say I rang up McDonald's, spoke to the main man, and say, yo, Ronald, give me the cash. What I think is that you have to be positive in your approach. So maybe we'll show you the tape. <laughs> Can't believe it. It's a lady. Thanks for saving my life. What is it? I was in the middle of having sex. It better be important. Wow, that is fucking important. What, there's a bomb? All right, I've just got to finish myself off. Thanks. Before you leave me, I didn't catch your name. My name is James Bond. James Bond. Do you want to produce it? No. No, it's not my kind of show. My other idea is this. A police dog has died and its spirit has gone into the chief of police. And it's called Hot Dog Cop. Does this police chief know what's going on? Does he understand it? That's the best thing about it. 
He ain't got no idea. What happens when it takes over? He can speak to the dogs. He can run like a dog, well fast. But also, he does the dirty stuff that dogs do as well. Like, he'll do a suddenly can't control himself, do one. I think it would take a very um, ingenious script to make it work. You would need a dog to help write some of it. And by that, what do you mean? The dog bits. <laughs> Did the Premier Bush come from the uh, South? Yes, George Bush came from Texas. Ah, he's good. And I went to school with Barbara Bush at Ashley Hall here. Uh, Barbara Bush? Yes. A Bush in uh, Kazakhstan will laugh when we hear the name because a Bush uh, mean the hair around uh, the testes satchel. And uh, Barbara we say in Kazakhstan mean to eat. So it is like Barbara Bush is to eat the hair from a test <laughs> It's good. Now this is the spring house. Go on in. Here. Hello. This is a very ancient kind of tool. But it is a shame now to use this uh, primitive tool. We now have a machine. It can chop a wood. Uh, with a man. Okay, now you have to understand what we're about here. This is the 18th century, okay? I am a historic interpreter. You are a slave? I am not. I am a historic interpreter. Yeah. I am a museum educator. Can I buy you? <laughs> no, I'm afraid you can't. In uh, Kazakhstan, we think uh, USA very technology, very good. And now I see it's a very primitive. This is 200 years ago. We are not in the year 2002 here. We are this is a time machine back to the year 1750 or 1760. You make a time machine? Can you please explain to him I what we're doing? I'm trying hard okay. because he keeps telling me about buying a slave. We don't do that. Okay. It hasn't been done since this 1865. This is a historic site. Do you understand what a historic site is? This is an outdoor museum. I like you. Do you like me? I'm not sure. We're going to see the milking of the cow now. This is a man or a woman? I don't know. You don't know. I, got a, I think it's a woman. It's not so clear. How do we find out? I got to find out. Look. I find out if it's a man or a woman. Why do you throw the milk away? Um, I think because it'll give them some medicine so it's not good to drink. Oh, all right. I'm not really sure. Do they always have um, girls like you milking the cows? Yes. Yes. You think? Mm -hmm. uh, but why she wear clothes like a man? Because they all do when they're working here. She is a. Uh... No, she's not. <laughs> How are you doing there, Boring? Good. You are a cowboy? Yeah. You are a cowboy? I'm a cowboy. High five! <laughs> Down low! <laughs> this is too slow. <laughs> swing it to the steer. Whoa, I will. You have to swing a big circle. Here, yes. Like this. Yes. Yes. See? Yes. You got it, man? Yes. Okay, I'm going to turn it loose. Yes. Keep it going. <laughs> you okay? I'm okay. But then you have to throw it at the steer. How many uh, uh, 
punch, punch you take to a cow before it fall. Me uh, is 11, my record. Uh, I hit a goat one time. Yes. I never hit a cow. I uh, once uh, carry a woman against her will for uh, near one mile. You did? Yes. He carried a woman against her will for one mile. Really? Why would you do that? To show her my home. Oh, okay. Did she like it, what you got there? Yes. But she's my wife now. She's your wife now? <laughs> yeah. Right there, sell the bit across there. Round of applause, Jody Jackson. Oh, man. I have a wife. Oh, yeah. You want to see her picture? Yes. Yes. It is her. She's pretty. She is. She couldn't come with you? Did you know that picture was in there? Ah, yes, my wife. Ah, ah. is not a lady to see. Ah. That's more your wife than I Hey, this is my say. wife. Oh, that's your wife. Ah. Oh, yeah. Hey, uh, don't be looking at all those pictures. Huh? <laughs> yes. She is a nice. <laughs> nice, huh? Yes. So nice. Then let's show your wife. Is enough. Sex. You resume uh, the words. Probably enough of you out there is done it. So, what is pornography? I think pornography sends a very dangerous message to society. I think it lies about sex. What did you think? Yeah. Well, I mean, I... <laughs> <laughs> I, I enjoy watching it myself. You I mean, of course, you know, a lot, I feel, is the parents, uh, because, of course, you have to be 18 before you enter these sites. That's you know, right. there's a written... Oh, no. Yeah, she's right. There's there. a written <laughs> statement there saying, yes, I'm 18. I mean, no, I see these young girls... Whoa, 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 let her finish. Okay. I'm sorry. No, um, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm seeing, sorry. like, young girls, 12, 13, and I'm thinking they're 18, you know. For the men in this business, how important is it the size of the warrior? It's not really the size. You know, I've worked with uh, quite large men, and I've no. worked with, with smaller men. Because I've got a massive one, you know. But what does you say to people out there with small ones, not me? No, it's oh, just, you opposite. know, of course, the saying, it's not how large, it's how yeah. you use it. Why does you think it is that you ain't had sex with someone yet? Do you think it is because you was too shy or because you was aiming for honeys out of your league? No. Do you think it's because of the confidence? No, that no, You don't no. have the chance no. to go up to ladies no. and say, let's do it? No. I do not believe that sex with multiple partners should be the normal standard in our society. So what you were saying is you actually is trying not to have sex. Basically what I'm attempting to do is not allow sex to come to the forefront of my life. And this isn't unusual in America. No, Whoa, I ain't never met anyone like that before. <laughs> Does you think the age at which you can have sex is at the right level? For most states in this country, um, the age of uh, consensual sex is uh, usually around 16 or 18. All right. Virgin, does you think that it's at the right age? <laughs> well, but I, think the dif I think the difficulty is the issue that, you know, we're wired to have sex pretty young. How old can I come in? I was 18 uh, when you I lost 18? my virginity. How old oh. was you? Obviously, I ain't not asking you because you was a you know, virgin, isn't it? How old was you? About the same age. Yeah. I was like, I think about 10 or something. And <laughs> with this model from Italy, it was 28. <laughs> it is illegal for people to have sex below the age of 16. Should it be illegal to have sex above the age of something like 50? No, I wouldn't want it to be illegal to have sex above the age of 50, for personal reasons. But, like, a couple of years ago, me had a really bad experience, and me walked in on me nana. Mm -hmm. She was actually doing it, like, 69 mm -hmm. with Uncle Derek, her mm -hmm. boyfriend, Uncle Derek, mm -hmm. who ain't me real uncle, and it was like... I felt <laughs> sick. It was like... Sure. But the way Walnuts to... Walnuts in a sock. But How you, can that be you right? It, no. You learn to knock before you go into Nana's bedroom. No, but then it happened, they did it in the living room as well. 
Mm. Well, that's irresponsible if, you know, for parents to do that when there are their children around or anyone else. So let's just have one word to sum up your position. I'm going to say commitment. Virgin? Nobility. Jesus. <laughs> Safety. Your mind is peace. So let's try and do that into something. Uh, peace. Your nobility. Yeah. Check it. Cause Jesus in it is commitment. Commitment. Okay. Peace. Mm. Just thought that out. Just like that. Because I didn't know right. what your words was going to be beforehand. I just. That just was at the top of my head. Thank you. What's up? Being gay is the new coolest thing. So that's why I've come to the gayest part of America, Alabama. Also, jetzt bin ich hier. What's your name? What? What's your name? Shy Williams. Great. Shy. Shard. Shard. Shard Williams. Shard. So, Shardy, what position do you play? I play running back. So, what do you say to the people out there who say that you are so powerful in your physique, have very powerful size and pectoral muscles, and wonder what your Schwanzenstock is like? Uh, I don't know. I've never uh, been put in that situation. Are you allowed to date other members of the team, or do you have to wait till the season is over? What? No, there's there's nobody on the team like that. No. So you must realize that you have many, many fans out in Austria. They see you, and they just would do anything to kind of spend a night with you. What do you say to those guys? I'm not gay. So I'm not going to spend any night with any guy, so... So do you have a message to Austria's gay community? Yeah, I'm not gay, so don't come looking for me. So what does freedom mean to you? Freedom means being able to do what you want, say what you want, without government looking over your shoulder, without government's uh, hand in your pocket, without the Jewish hand in your pocket. Yes. We know in Austria, they, you know, the government is run by like Jews. Freedom in Austria is a lot about being able to walk down the street with my boyfriend Diesel, just holding hands and without people staring at us. Is that what you're campaigning for? Well, I'm not uh, too hot on your right to hold hands with your boyfriend, but what you do in the privacy of your home, as long as you stay away from my kids, I have no problem with what yeah. you do. If you try to recruit my kids uh, uh, in any way, then you would have a problem with me. So, Clay, you got a kind of very manly look. When did you get to be so cute? When I was born. You're so good looking, and don't you know it? I like women. Thank you anyway. So, you are bi? No, I'm not bi. And I'm not gay. And uh, if, you wanna, if you're going to speak on that subject, you can take a hike. You're not my type. Is it because I'm too fat? No. But is it what I... I've been I've really jet-lagged. Your interview's terrible. over. You want to be a professional? Be a professional. Don't be some fucking fag.
is an art. International relations ain't just about having a Bangladeshi cousin. It is about other stuff as well. I don't know what there is. That is why I was off to meet James Baker. Bo! During the Gulf War, when did you decide to invade Iran? We never invaded Iran. Which one did you go into? We had a troop presence for a short period of time in southern Iraq. Ain't they the same thing, though? Ain't no, that just... they're two different countries, Iraq and Iran. Do you think it would be a good idea if one of them changed their name to make it very different sounding from the other one? No, because Iran doesn't sound like Iraq. Ain't there a real danger that someone give like a message over the radio to one of them fighter pilots, whatever, saying, bomb Iraq, and the geezer don't hear it properly and bomb Iran rather than Iraq? No danger. How does you make countries do stuff you want? Well, the way you, the way you deal with, with countries in foreign policy, on foreign policy issues, I think that's what you're asking me. No doubt. Is you deal with carrots and sticks. But what country is going to want carrots, even if there is like a million tons of carrots that you was giving over them? Well, carrots, I'm not using that term literally. You might offer foreign aid to a money, okay, money. Uh, money is better than carrots, even if a country love carrots and that is like their favorite national food. If they get given like well, but, billions but don't of get, tons... Don't, don't get hung up on carrots, that's just a figure of speech. So would you ever send carrots? You know, is there no. any situation? No. What about in a famine? What about in a carrots famine? Carrots themselves? No. Hey, Commissioner Vice Chair Jim Matthews is here with us. Jim. Yo, big up. We have several of our row officers here today. Ron Holt, our Register of Wills is here. In this part of the state, it's tough because the, the person we're running against is, uh, is popular here. He's known here for the last decade. But I don't think you should be worried about the other candidate because I've heard loads of people say that Fisher is crap. You don't need to worry about him. That Rendell's crap. Rendell's the other guy. Which side is we up for? Well, I'm with Fisher. Yo. Right. All right. E, with full respect, and I ain't met him for. He's a nice guy, but he's got a kind of bit of a dull vibe to him. It depends on what you want in a leader. Do you want somebody who's flashy, or do you want someone who's substantive, someone who's got experience? Yeah, you uh, want someone who's flashy, innit? Well, I don't. I mean, I want somebody who's steady. Was it embarrassing working as a secretary? Did it have the same kind of stigmata as being a male nurse? Well, I think it was, uh, the word secretary, of course, is used in different ways. Why do you think politicians use so many words that young people just don't understand? Like discussion or conflict. Only Chi Chi men would use them words. No, I don't think so. I think you'd find those in your high schools in America and classrooms everywhere you'd go. But surely if politicians used words like Holla, swallow back, check this out, all my peeps in your cribs, all your mofos out there, swallow this, buyaka shawagwan. Then people would hear it and understand, innit? it? That's crazy. I, you can't find me five people in the entire country of America who could understand what you just said. That ain't true. Not five, not five people. About, I could find you five billion. Cost of your jobs, you must know a lot of secrets that happened back then. Well, it's been 10 years ago. I don't remember very many of them. What about Hillary Clinton? Does she drink from the furry cup? I don't know, Hillary. I don't know anything about it. But does she eat from the bushy bowl? I don't know anything about it. If she does, just cough. I don't know anything about it. So what's the deal? Is this I your interview technique? No, I was just waiting to see if you coughed or not. This is your interview technique? This interview is over. Let's, let's come. The guy's an idiot. We 
saying in Kazakhstan, a man who never kill a man is like a man without any... <laughs> <laughs> it's true, it's true. Uh, it's a strange, it's a strange feeling. You have a big, uh, you have a big uh, harm? Uh, b b fairly, uh, yes. Uh, yes. You know, so, not pretty good, pretty good. I can touch? In America, you don't, uh, it's not, uh, that's, it's not one of our customs, you know what you do? Yes. I can touch? Uh, well, sure, what I, what I. Yes, it's okay with sure, you? Sure, sure. Thank you. <laughs> it's nice. <laughs> Thank you. It's uh, good, but I have uh, oh, seen bigger.